Cooperative Universal or CUMI as it's better known wants to make the most of uh, the demand in, in various products that it is coming out with. They are, they, are, they are coming up with a synthetic graphite product as well, something that can be used in lithium batteries, used to run electric cars. So, and, and probably a couple of, uh, in, in fact, many other initiatives that the company started on for the last maybe 12 or 18 odd months. So when does the company expect to start production of this new product and some of the others? Let's put that question and the questions about the overall business to Mr. K. Srinivasan, Managing Director at Carbon and Universal. Good having you, Mr. Srinivasan. Thank you so much for taking the time out and speaking to us here at Bloomberg Quint. You know, I, I remember a conversation uh, maybe 12 months ago or, or 18 months ago, I don't remember the exact timeline. Uh, wherein Carbonundum Universal said that while the bread and butter business, the abrasives business and the other businesses will continue to grow in the way that they have been, uh, Carbonundum is trying to develop 10, 15, 20 new breakthrough technological products or, or products really, which will, which all of them have uh, substantially higher opportunities over the longer term. Um, can you tell us where are you in that quest? And then, of course, we'll move on to talk about your newer products like the Z450 and a couple of others as well. Yeah. Good morning. Thanks for having me on the show. Pleasure. Uh, first, let me say that uh, we have today seven DSIR approved labs within the Carbondum system. We've been filing IPs at the rate of between 25 to 40 a year, and this is accelerating. Uh, we have announced a few products like you mentioned the Z450 which is a new way of making uh, monoclinic zirconia, uses less of graphite, uh, it's got low uh, uranium plus sodium that means low radioactivity, it's a far superior product as well as a cheaper product to make. Uh, there are quite a few other products that we come up with, some of them could be completely new products, some could be major breakthrough in the process by which we make these products. Um, we will announce a couple of more during the course of the next couple of quarters. Like you mentioned, we are working very hard on uh, graphene, which is a form of carbon that's used, which will get used more and more extensively in the energy business. Uh, we are also coming up with a, a pilot plant for making CNT, which is carbon nanotubes. Again, uh, have very wide application base, could be used in energy, could be used in other areas as well. So quite a few interesting things in the pipeline, but we'll announce them as they go along. So, do any of these, I mean, I, I heard you mention that you're filing IPs at the rate of knots, and you have about five or six or seven new products that have been launched already. What's the initial response been for each of these before we come to uh, two or three specifics out here? Yeah. Let me talk about the Z450, which has sure. been now uh, in the market now for almost about six to eight months. Uh, initial response has been very good. Uh, any input material, see Z450 is a form of monoclinic zirconia. The customers have to find ways to use it in his process. So generally this initial acceptance takes anywhere between six months to a year. The lucky thing for us has been that the, since the price of zirconia overall globally has gone up, uh, there is an accelerated requirement by the market to test new products and quickly use it. So we see that uh, there is a huge pickup. I can say as we speak in March that our order inflow is significantly higher than what we can actually turn out at this moment. So if this continues, I think it's really good news. Um, I would say these things normally take about a year to get into serious commercial consideration, but this seems to be happening much faster in the current context of increasing global prices. So, uh, Mr. Srinivasan, if I, uh, if I can ask you, uh, obviously, when you're starting off, uh, the capacities are not primed for full usage or the Absolutely. full demand potential. Uh, what is uh, the current capacity, if you will, that you have for a product which is finding such immediate uh, fabulous response? And have you already, looking at the response, made some initial sketches about where do you want to take this capacity up to? Part two of my question also is that with the kind of response and the kind of capacity expansion plans that you may have, does a product like Z450 have the potential to alter the revenue landscape for Carbondum Universal as an overall entity completely? Yeah, let me answer the first question. How do we do it? First, we have a product or a process that we do the alpha. That means the product or the process per se works. Then we do a beta. That means we launch it in a, a small area or a small market segment and we allow it to mature there. And then we make the first commercial investment. As far as the Z450, 
we have today a capacity to make roughly about uh, 400 tons a month, which is not big. Uh, on a global uh, requirement of zirconia of more than 30,000 tons, this is pretty small. Um, so this four, 400 tons a month will probably be out of capacity very soon. Now to get newer capacities up is a six to nine month process. It's getting longer because most of the equipment suppliers are all uh, uh, out of capacity really. Globally we are going through a phase where most businesses and plants are running to capacity in, in, in the material science area and consequently to get up new capacities are also going to take about nine months time at least. So that's the kind of time scale we look at when you have to look at increasing capacities. To answer your second question, uh, in terms of uh, will the Z450 or similar businesses make a fundamental change to uh, carborundum? I think a collection of businesses will. Uh, one product alone can bring in a revenue of maybe between 30 to 50 million dollars, which, which is not small, but it's not big compared to the size of carborundum. But increasingly, I think these businesses over a period of time, they tend to aggregate together and make a significant difference in the way we do our business. Okay, so I, I presume that any expansion plans that you have for Zirconia or any of the others, Z450 or any of the others, are at least 12 months out. Uh, the the follow-up question to then that would be that how much or what's the kind of traction that you see in the bread and butter business, abrasives for example, and how does all of this auger for what Carbon and Universal does, um, say in FY19, possibly FY20, maybe a five-year vision that you may have for what the yeah. size of carborundum could be? Yeah. So uh, let me answer the, uh, the last question first. We have been giving a guidance that we'll be doing about 3,200 pros in a two to three year period. With the current inflatory environment and shortages overall, we expect that to be nearer to two year than a three year period. Newer capacities are being put in place, so that will allow us to continue to keep this growth phase. As we look at it, next four to six quarters is going to be uh, rapid growth. Uh, the market is booming. It's a global requirement. Most plants in Europe, US are running flat. Uh, capacities cannot be created quickly. So there is an inflatory pressure as well. Prices are going up. We are seeing that in our own input pro uh, material, be it uh, zirconia sand, bauxite, Graphite electrode is an exceptional story of a six to seven times price increase. So all this is happening simultaneously. So we will see a phase of very rapid growth, both in terms of operating prices as well as in terms of demand. Um, that is in terms of the growth requirement. Coming to abrasives, abrasives is largely for us over 70% is India. Indian demand is growing. Uh, it's a consumption-led demand. It is not so much driven by big capex, but smaller capexes are happening. Consumption is pretty strong. Um, we expect double-digit growth quarter-on-quarter, uh, quarter, and we expect this to continue at least for the next four to six quarters. There is an overall global demand for abrasives as well. So I think demand is very, very strong across ge geographies. Like you know, carbonum is half the business in India, half global outside of India and the markets in Europe, in US, in most parts of the world are doing exceptionally well. Great. Wish you all the best for that and more, Mr. Srinivas. And at some point of time, we look forward to visit your manufacturing premises as well. But thank you so much for giving us an update on the business. Thank you very much. Most welcome. All right. That's the management of Carbon and Universal. Sounding very bullish about business. Uh, the market's not looking so bullish. Maybe the new kid on the block also will not look so bullish when it lists. Uh, that listing is coming up on the other side, as is the FNO show, of course. Thanks so much for watching this leg of Indian Open.